case. So the demand equation, uh, demand set is this. So demand set is that. So let's obtain from that the inverse demand equation. Inverse demand, right? So demand set is of the form 2p plus what's that? q equals 20. Therefore, we're arranging it for p. We have p is equal 20 minus q. Divide both sides by 2. In other words, 10 minus a half q. And to show that this is a function of this, the inverse supply, we write like this. Q. But this is only part of the solution. Recall that I said that we have to ensure that we might look for the constraints of the input. Here the input is Q. Well, this inverse supply is OK for all values of Q so long as the price is bigger than equal to zero. So in other words, with we must have the right hand side, this whole thing, bigger than or equal to zero. And then rearranging it, you can find that Q must be less than or equal to twenty. Alright, now this is a form of a straight line where the intercept is ten. The gradient is negative, so it's downward sloping, and it's got a gradient of a half. And where does it cut the horizontal axis? It cuts it when this price is at a minimum level, which is 0, which is going to be 20. 20 put into here, you can see it's going to be 0. So using the inverse supply function, not the supply function, we can obtain the set of the points QP that satisfy this equation. All right, so we just said it cuts the axis there at 10 and it's downward sloping so it's going this way and minimum value is at 20 do this and there okay so this is the supply set supply set everything on that line is a point such that this is satisfied next do the same thing but for the demand Okay, well, I don't have to repeat the process here. I'll just tell you that what you're going to get is the intercept of 6. It's going to be upward sloping, like so. How about this point here? That point is where supply set and the demand set, they meet. That is where the market clears. Supply equals demand. That is an equilibrium. How do I find that point? At that point, the coordinates Q and P are the same for the supply and the demand set. So let's call it Q star, P star. And so we're going to have supply is going to meet demand, so say intersection, at that point of equilibrium, E, S is where the supply cuts the demand, I just share the same point and so we can solve it by setting the inverse demand equals the inverse supply or if you wanted to you could even you could just work with the supp the supply function and demand function okay so using the inverse supply equals the inverse demand at equilibrium it should be equal, it should cut there we are, plug it in, rearrange for Q simple maths Q star is equal to 2, so that's equilibrium price uh, quantity to get the corresponding coordinate for the price when Q star is 2 we plug in 2 either into the inverse supply or inverse demand, it doesn't matter which one you get the answer I've plugged it here into the inverse supply we get the answer 
nine. So the coordinate is the equilibrium is noting that the order does matter uh, here q p is equal to two along and nine up. So my graph here is two along and nine up the point of equilibrium. Before leaving this, how do we know, how can we do a quick check to see that we've got the right shape for the demand set and supply, that our graph looks right? Well look, the demand function, it should be always the case that if, quant if the, it should always be a case that the demand function is always downward sloping and here I'm marking my own work here look at this I must be falling asleep today look mislabel that this which I showed you earlier is the demand obviously that is the supply isn't it right I guess some of you are yell, trying to yell at the internet at me while I was doing this okay so demand function should be such that should be depict a graph such that as the price increases the quantity demanded decreases. When we've got P up the vertical axis and Q along the horizontal axis, then that translates into a downward sloping curve. As you can see that here, as Q increases, the price falls. In other words, saying that is that as the um, as the price uh, decreases, the quantity demanded increases. Okay. Supply has to be such in such a shape that as the price falls, the amount supplied decreases. Into this, it means it translates as an upward sloping curve, upward sloping sh line here. All right, curve. Yeah. Um, so when we look at economics textbooks, the first kind of model we see is straight lines, but these. Line, these uh, demand sets, supply sets, do not have to be straight lines. They can be curves, and you'll see later on they can be quadratics. All right. So in this video, I've shown you, I've talked to you about demand supply sets. From demand supply sets, we can extract four types of equations which we need to supply to study equilibrium: supply demand, demand equation, supply function, demand inverse demand inverse supply functions and that if we're trying to sketch a graph of those demand and supply sets and we have P up the vertical axis Q along the horizontal axis then what we need is to get the inverse supply inverse demand equations okay hope that's been useful